it's not hot topics. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Please, dear. Sorry, sorry, where, dear. You, where you should spare me? Sorry, dear. <laughs> Continue. Is it phonetics or accents? <laughs> Nonsense. Anyways, um. Oh, oh wow. Wow. Well, As a lawyer, that's like really too difficult to read. Ride or die? <laughs> Is there a, a limit to how much you are willing to ride or die for your partner? Did you see that? Is there a limit to how much you are willing to ride or die for your partner? Sorry. I swear, there's a whole lot of shit on that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you're ready. So. Hey, <laughs> bring it down. Say, say, calm down. Wait, 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 guys. Calm, calm down. We need to, down. We need to absorb. Get in, yeah. Let the tip get in, okay? Okay, see, I'm going okay, to say sorry. like... Sorry for rushing you. Carry I'll, on. I'll let you speak. Anyways, we understand the question, right? Yeah. Okay. So, is I'll take it again. Is there a limit to how much you are willing to ride or die for your partner? Yes. Yeah, of course. I'm not willing to There's die. a limit. My it's man. not ride or die. My own is ride and why? <laughs> <laughs> see, where, we no... go, where are you going? I just die or your master for us. I mean, we're considering Gucci Mane and Kesha. Cool. Cool. Gucci Mane, brother. Okay. Gucci Mane. Not Gucci you Man. You know, the time in prison. I mean, I, well, are we talking about ah! Gucci Man and Kisha Kim? I'm I mean, sorry. I drop the red hot. Did he read the team? He said, let's consider Gucci Man and Kisha Kim. No, or... but I'm mean, out here on the perspective, looking at this whole. But there's a whole lot more, exactly. Like, why did you say oh, the thing? Oh, yeah, he didn't read it. Okay, fine. Okay, okay, ride or die. Sorry. Is there a limit to how much you are willing to ride or die for your partner? Uh-huh. Consider Gucci Man and Kisha Consider Gucci Mane and Keisha K.R. Through it all, she waited. And what if your partner suffers an accident? Ah. <gasps> suffers an accident, becomes terminally ill, or goes broke. Okay, Jesus these are three different Christ. things. Terminally Same ill thing is me. not your fault. Going broke, maybe. Okay. <sighs> Let's all start with Kevin Hart. Okay? Because Kevin Hart was in an accident. I don't know if you guys know this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and... Um, I guess he He's broke his okay. spine in different places. So he yeah. can't walk. No, they well, said he was they fine, right? On it. He's getting better. Yeah, they said he was oh. getting better. Well, let me just, let's use him as an example. So, that's like, awful. Kevin Hart, he has a babe who is mad. I forget her name. Yeah, that stuff. So, uh, imagine, call your daughter, that's would you that. say that, would you say if Kevin Hart, because he's a great guy, I think he's great, he's funny, I mean, he's, he's an amazing sharp, individual. Okay. Would you Why say that, that no, if no, 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 don't, please, no. Say, calm down. Would no, you, would, would, you, know, would you, would you, <laughs> would you say that if Kevin Hart, that we know is great, because we see him on TV yeah, mm-hmm. great. and everything, he became broke. Would you say that his wife should have a problem and maybe try to feed? No, no. Um, no. I it's down to count. That's a different situation. I feel like with marriage. Can talk, innit? It's a different thing. You You've committed fully, fully to this person. It's like, look, we are going to do this. You've taken the vows for better, for worse, blah, blah, mm. blah. I feel like in that case, more than likely is that you'll stay, like with Kevin Hart and this thing. But now with Gucci and this babe, let's remember that they weren't even married when all of this was happening. Yeah. Personally, if I'm not married to you, I will ride for a while. If it's looking like we're going to cry, right away. What's up? Half me, I'm coming down. I feel like ride and die, ride and die is too much of a commitment. I feel like with human beings and with people in general, you have to know who you're dealing with and what you're getting into. And obviously, as you get older, things about you change, things about your life changes. So yeah, I'm going to ride with you. But if we're making certain decisions, I want to know why we're making those decisions. Why are we taking a left turn instead of a right turn? You know, I just want to be informed. I'm not going to blindly follow anybody. I don't care if I, I don't care how much I love you. To be very honest, if I'm being 100% honest, like, Depends on the situation, depends on who, but right now, at this my tender age, I'm not riding or dying for anyone for the world. I am a ride or die within reason. Like, if I know where we're going is somewhere I'd like to be, if I see that the journey going there is, you know, possible, and the car is still working condition, fine. But by the time the tire bursts, the steering isn't turning properly, there's no brake oil, I'm just gonna solely just drop down somewhere and be done. Oh, because wow. I feel no, like the ride, the ride that Keisha went okay, on, I feel yeah. like it was unnecessary, yeah. in my opinion. Suffering. Like, you're, so she's cool. lucky that it's it ended up. Out. Yeah, she's lucky it ended up exactly because brother, there was no brother. guarantee. He was cheating, he was going to prison, he was like, Drugs. I'm sorry. Like, weight. like, weight is even a different, like, I'm not even going okay, to bring that so in. But I'm like, sorry, I'm sure you guys I just feel like, and also, I feel like the narrative also flips to like, and I feel like there's always women. Mm-hmm. The narrative then flips to, oh, you know, in order for your your love story to be a success story, you have That's to have been through trials and tribulations. No, you don't. Oh, shit. You can actually just have a happy-go-lucky relationship without having to ride a turbulent ride. Like, your ride can be smooth. Excuse me, sorry, your point was that uh, you can just go. 
Yeah. I'm Wait, saying in a you relationship, you, yeah, in a relationship. different from in a marriage. Yes, of course. I understand what you're saying, but that's ridiculous. It shouldn't be too different. That's ridiculous because how do you enter a marriage with it somebody that be is, willing to, is willing to leave you when shit hits the fan? That's the most ridiculous thing I've heard. Then everybody should not enter a relationship. For I me, guess, personally, I, I'm, I'm, sure I'm like going to date you. If I'm going to date you, and then you can just, the moment that shit goes, goes south, south yeah, you can fail. Mm. Then what the hell Let is me the ask, point? I, if you have a girlfriend and you find out that she does fraud, right? Maybe she's hiding, she does something and she's just your babe and you know that's not that's not what you want for your wife. You will leave her. I will tell her. Yes, but if you were married shit. to her already and she was already doing that, you have kids yeah, why and Why don't you leave? It's you, the same thing. Yeah, but you are starting to more the children. You're going to make the shit worse. If you stay in that relationship, Relationship, you're going to make it worse because you're already out of it. No, but My, also mentally, you're when you're married there. for that type of situation, it's easier to say, look, we have all these many things at stake. These big okay, so guys. Up, so up against so us. So okay. Now, she guys. she quick, can now... Quick one, quick one, guys. Okay. You don't Correctly. care. You, have, no, 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 quick quick you enter a relationship without OD, it down. calm down. Okay, one second. Very quickly. I think that... Let's not miss the point. There shouldn't... Personally, I think there shouldn't be a limit to what you should do for your partner because... <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, it's just my ad lib, okay? <laughs> Pay me no mind, continue. <laughs> okay, moving on. The most important thing for me is if you're going to be with somebody, then you go all the way. Because I feel personally, if I cannot marry you, I won't date you, mm-hmm. first of all. So, and then mm-hmm. if the goal is to get married, and then we're going to be taking the marriage vows, which is for better, for worse, then why not start now when we're together? There are some worse things. No, I'm just. That worse. No, it's not worse too. It's just worse. But for better no, or but, worse, but, 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 my worse, you are going to be dead. No, but, but my worse. No, let, 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 things that if I find out you are doing, like it, it breaks down the character of the person. Let I me marry. Better, let me, be, for better, for worse. No, let me quickly make if, this if point. If I think I'm marrying this kind of person, right, and I marry you for better or worse, with because the, then when you're marrying somebody, you sort of have an idea of what their capabilities are and mm. how far they're going to push themselves. There's worse and there's worse. Like, for me, like I said. As long as you communicate with me and I know, you know, what's going on and all of that, I feel like I can pretty much ride with you through whatever. However, I don't I don't and will never stand for a man who violates women, whether that's physically, emotionally, or anything. So if you're emotionally abusing me, physically abusing me, you know, you become a rapist, you're a murderer, like if you're actually causing let me not just say women, but I have a passion for women, but if you're harming somebody, like I won't feel safe around you. So I feel like that would be where I'm like, look, it doesn't mean I hate you, but I don't trust myself around that. So my worst would probably be doing actual harm to other people. Honestly, I think no human being can be with anybody for better or for worse. If you even look at people that stick through the worst situations, the reason why is never really because of that person. Do you understand? They have their own like, insecurities or need for validation or something. So I think nobody's really right or die. People that just ride to the end, maybe... Maybe they're crazy or they see something at the end that they want to just be a part of. I don't know, man, but I don't think anybody's right or die. Fuck all that shit. If you then find out that the person you've married is not who you thought they were at all and they're actually doing something completely left field from who you thought they were, that best, I feel like yeah, you know, that, you that contract can, was fraudulent. You can I didn't go. Know that's what that's what based, based on, based on what, what, what I'm, I'm not sure, but you, the, based on sorry, you what just you guys are saying. For better, for worse means in my good or in my bad, bad. you are going to be there. If and you sa- open your mouth, that we can't control. I hope that if, if you open your mouth to say that, you believe that if I stole Ikoyi's car. So then that means you don't believe mm. in divorce. Yeah. No, I believe no. in divorce. So then what's the for better or worse? For better or worse, if you go and divorce, then I say, okay, then you don't, what you said, you're not a true person. Because a true person says what they mean. So anybody who has gotten divorced is not a true person. They, are not, they have gotten divorced because they did not mean what they said. No. Yes. But that's no, I agree with Odie. I, I, I actually agree with that because, because for me, that means somebody within is, that contract saying, did not deliver. Yeah, exactly. No, no, that's that's, 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 that's not the point because for better or worse means whether you deliver or not, I'm going to stay. That's exactly. what for better exactly. or worse Exactly. Means. exactly. 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 So yeah. if you're going to go. And I don't think that, I, I actually feel like in terms of marriage, I feel like if somebody is not delivering, like somebody is being a shit person to you, mm. why should I not be with you then for better or worse? Then your vows should not say for better Maybe we should have the vows reviewed. Well, that's why people write down your vows. should say, Guys, this is my personal <laughs> opinion. All right. I don't want to marry any fucking person. Okay. So all these things that you are saying is just flying over my head. Because if I'm dating you and you are doing anyhow, I see that you are, maybe your armpit is smelly. <laughs> I can't take this smell anymore. Maybe your bank account is showing red today. It's up tomorrow. It's high. Fuck off. Get out. So because it's broke. Yeah. Okay. Am I broke? 
Uh, mm. Or let's assume I'm actually evil. Where? Two wrongs don't make you right. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? Why am I broke your broke? See the women want to marry. Please, 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 didn't they tell you Coco was a savage? Because that girl, she has, and I rate it so much, she has a very, very, very strong sense of self. And I think that's a very beautiful thing to have. Uh, but I also think that love is very beautiful. I'm a hopeless romantic. And because I know that I am imperfect in myself, as much as I love myself, and I think I'm the finest thing and the best thing since sliced bread and all that stuff, I still know that I have flaws. And so if someone is willing to accept me for my flaws and be there for me in my hard times, like. Who am I to not do that for somebody else? Like God puts us here, like you rise by lifting others. So I don't believe, I'm not a selfish person at all. I give, 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 give all the time. And, and giving with my love is probably what I enjoy doing best. So no Coco, don't be a savage. So if you're acting a fool, I'm not staying with you. Kisha Keo and uh, Gucci Mane. I'm interested in the money in part. I'm interested in the money part. So, so I'm getting there. If you're in prison, I'm not going to stay with you. Okay, who told you to commit fr crime? Well, because you will trying to get money that you are looking for. <laughs> Excuse me, there's so many people that have money and they don't commit crime. But if you commit the crime and it doesn't get caught, you'll be fine, yeah? No, I won't be fine. I don't want to speak. Why are you lying? Why are you fucking lying? <laughs> I'm not lying. Why are you fucking lying? Why are you always lying? Oh. I'm actually saying the honest truth. I don't like short, fraudulent niggas. No. No, don't me come too. around I'm me like that. that. No. But he's broke. See, upcoming. My see, thing is, you see the potential. If you're upcoming, you see? if you're upcoming, you don't have money. It depends on the situation. If I see that you have so much potential, yes. wonderful. It doesn't mean I will still date you. Yeah. I will wait. See, when your potential comes to fruition, then we meet Coco. in the future. Coco, Okay, I'm not about to come here and with nobody. Coco because is, life, Coco is already, is. life is already hard. I'm already Coco struggling and suffering. I, no, no, I'm not guys. trying to be coming to be suffering with nobody. No. Yo, but like emotionally, physically, mentally, otherwise, I'm guessing. I'm not riding yeah. on dying with that nobody. Part. I don't even know if I'm even riding with anybody. To be uh, your neighbor has something. I know I'm with God. <laughs> I'm riding with the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Okay, Allah. Yeah, that's brilliant. Um, so what you get in here is the pimp outfit. We got my prom, obviously. Can tell about the prom. Bro, keep the hair too, together. Um, some cool shades. But um, it's um, hair centric. And, uh, and, um, yeah, it's a dope vibe still. So the pimp's going to talk, okay? Okay. So, you know, I feel like, you know, it's a, it's a really good deed on how you'd want to, you know, push your ideas and do what you want to do. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can laugh. You got a very good view. You darling. Yeah. You know, I, I mean, you didn't read the, the full question, so I can't even articulate that properly. I read the full question. You know, but um, now it wasn't meant to read it. It was tea. But um, I would say... It's... Let me Let me just take you up. Over it's right. No, no, I, 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 I okay. get it, you know. Oh, okay, okay. But you know, I'm, I'm just trying to educate you a lot. You know, I'm the pimp right here. Get me? I'm gonna say like, you know, when you you make vows and promises, you know, with your partner, it's something you need to take very seriously, you know. And um, we're, we're <coughs> human beings, so whatever the cost is, whatever the price is, you know, you don't know the value of someone, and you know, time is is for it is for the essence. It keeps huh? going. Time is, you know, sorry. it keeps it keeps going. It's, it's you know, you see, darling, the pimp's talking. I make mistakes. So you jump on it when I'm done. <laughs> you, you get oh me? my god! <laughs> but you know, I, I think you know, Romeo and Juliet is a true story. You know, I'm with that. You know, you, you have to die for your partner. You have to love your partner. You know, love, love. Let me reply to that. You know, right? we, we okay. so calm down, calm down. Saw... And you know, oh, a lot sorry. of people have different personalities, different traits. You know. You're only there, you know, opportunities, you know, gold diggers, you know, slugs. You know, slugs? And, you know, you know, leeches. All that's good, you know. It's beautiful, you know, because we're human beings. You know, and it's, it's All that has never made sense to me from day one, so I really kind of tune off when he talks because he just kind of just... So I, I, I honestly don't know. If anybody knows, they should hit me up. The thing is, I don't know what Ola may have said in that... I can't remember what Ola said a lot of the time, but I also know that Ola may be misunderstood. Ola has, because I'm a kind of person that listens and try to understand, I think Ola always, if you look deeper, Ola may not be able to express his true feelings, but I feel like he always has. He's, he's, he goes to the end, he's explicit, he's R-rated, he's 18 and over. 
But if you try to look past all that and understand what he's saying, you can get a message. And that's the way that I see things with Allah, you know. It's, it just means what it means, you know, the whole Romeo and Juliet, you know, um, you have to, when you make promises, you don't, you know, you keep bonds and fates and words of affirmation. You have to take those things really personally. So it's a big, it's big. Any pimp will tell you that as well. What is bond? Okay, so very, very quickly. But no, 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 please. Calm down, like, what was that? <laughs> please, man. So, um, very quickly, personally, like I was saying, yeah. Very importantly, it's pimp talk, darling. Uh, we're well, listening to you, Koi. Okay, for the budget, baby. Thank you. Moving on. So, marriage. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go back continue, now. Continue. Okay. I'm listening. As I stop take, control your 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 senses. Sorry. Also, <laughs> <laughs> so I personally agree with Olaf. It's a tough age. Everything Olaf is saying. It's hard to you know, choke. You guys may not even try to understand. Can you please explain. You may want to. You may please. want to try to figure out I how he's saying. What he's saying. But what he's trying no, no, to tell you is this: basically, if a woman and a man make vows, and that's the way I live my life, it's based on what you say. If you tell me something, I believe you're going to honor what you say. That's the only way I can believe that you are who you say you are. You cannot tell me for better or for worse. And, and then, then when I am in my worst, you decide no. to go yeah, out well, okay, that's so Okay, but yes, how with can what we I define said. worse? Because, because I feel like... No, I'm honey, saying... It's the same thing as the definition of If you try to try today, what's... It, to, to okay, buy, so buy, if you find out man. your husband is a serial rapist, serial rapist, me, I should now stay with you. Don't say that word. No, what happened there? I don't even know this story. I don't know this story. Can you enlighten us on the story for us that don't know it? Gucci Mane and Kisha were together for for donkey years, a long time. He had to go to prison, and she waited for him. He gave her like a pack of money. She, she flipped, flipped it, it, doubled it. He came back out and married her. That's a good situation. That's you something. Some, he stuck some, to his that's personal vows. That's it. Tasha, I'm going to say is, women do not yeah, disagree. Yeah, with the complex of knowing that nah, a lot of people have fucked your husband. Because we said we um, took a process like this, talking life. about this situation. No, and as much as people, somebody can come and say, oh, I love you, I'm going to do this. Everybody comes with their own different baggage, mm-hmm. their demons. Do you understand? Some people can't even predict their own behavior or their next decision. Yep. So I mean, I'm not going to bank on your stupid, misguided emotions. They don't make the vow. Do you understand? Let me just say one thing. If we go with Lolo, if we go with Lolo, if we go with what Lolo said, do you know if it's based on Nakim, based on what Lolo has said, you, everybody will be divorced. If it's based on cheating, yeah, exactly. do you know that everybody is cheating? Yeah, so what so are you talking about? I'm going to be the only true man single because I'm not married. No, 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 no,
you should stick with your partner. You should stick with your partner during sicknesses. But Coco will not stick with anybody. No, I'm not. Coco, going Coco, to Coco please. Coco's before, before, no, no. Yes. Before Coco goes, I, please. Can you give me what you, yeah. your wedding vow? How do you want to? I do don't want to get married to anyone. I'm married to Jesus. I understand. Leave me alone, because all these men are Satan. I That's just, why they'll bring ah. sickness around you and poverty. Oh. Go away. Oh. Thank, Thank you. Thank God we don't want to marry you. <laughs> I sure don't I just feel like nobody should have to go through stress because of another person because another that's person the, what that's the idea or, yet, or because another person cannot meet up with their vows or what they said they're going to nah if you feel like somebody is taking you for idiots taking you for idiots not take me for idiots no like, see the truth of the matter is marriage or no marriage nobody Coco, tied your umbilical cord to another person's umbilical cord under the cloud we understand where you're going we understand where you're going we understand where you're going destiny is tied to another person's destiny I understand we understand where you're going Coco you know you're entitled to have any kind of relationship or not mm-hmm. that you want Thank but you the truth of the matter is that the marriage the the, the symbolism of marriage. of marriage is that two people come together struggling and penury and, you know, <laughs> and then in it's the vows sacrifice. i also think that sacrifice. the vows that's it i also sacrifice. think that the vows penury. excuse me i also think that the vows are supposed to be based on how you feel i don't believe that there's a vow that you're supposed to read yeah, but i vow. feel like yeah. if you tell me if you open your mouth to tell me, because I'm that kind of person, I listen to what people tell me. That's the only way I can move forward in my life. If you tell me, I love you, and to you death should. do us part, calm down. <laughs> and in sickness and in health, and to uh, for better or for worse, worse, no matter what I do, you are not entitled to go. Therefore, that the you, same on your you side are dishonorable. Well? If you tell me, I may not say that in I my want own to come after I may you. not say for better or for worse or to death do us Sorry, part. so you that broke your vows, you're not dishonorable. Then. I know, you're, you're not listening. You're not paying attention to what you're saying. You won't make those vows. You won't make those vows. Listen, understand. Listen. At the end of the day, to each his own. But personally, I, that's just ridiculous because no man is an island. Everybody needs somebody. You... I mean, she that is even talking about, oh, what do you have, first of all? What are you bringing to the table? You are talking about the fact that you are going to leave somebody because he doesn't have one or two things. What are you bringing to the table, first of all? Please, dear. So, like, I like to give people the opportunity to live on the basis that everybody can change. Different scenarios can change a man. For example, you can meet me today and I'm 27 and you're 25. And all we have to think about is um, what we are going to eat tomorrow. And this is the life that we're living. And then you can meet me. We can be dating for or be married for a few years and we have two or three kids. And being the kind of person that I am, I know that my kids must eat. So my perspective in life could change and that could lead me. It wouldn't so, but it could lead me to doing other things such as Yahoo Yahoo. To make so to make so quick cash, so my children can eat, because that would probably be my priority at that time. You understand? So people are going to change based on life. As life is moving, the man is changing. You know, which is all I'm trying to say. Yeah, I've mentioned, you know, because um, <clears throat> you know, we, we've got different types of ladies. You know, um, you can't pimp a good girl. You know, you pimp a bad bitch. Um. So, I mean, each to their own. So, you know, you can't nag a girl for not being enrolled into your institution because she, she has different um, opinion. But, um, I mean, I appreciate every sort of thought and personality and mind frames, you know, each to their own. Yeah. I'm listening. I'm not listening. listening to respond. I'm listening. Yeah, calm you. down. Prof. Calm. You understand? I'm right trying on. to tell you that if you open your mouth to say a certain word, the word can only go around based on what we talk about, what we say. Mm-hmm. That's how I know who you are. That's how you know who I am. Mm-hmm. If you say for better or for worse, then whatever is my worst, I could take a gun right now. Boom. This is what I've been wanting to do all day. Ah, my dead kill this motherfucker. Why are you want to now? <laughs> see, I do, do. Kill this what motherfucker. You, you will still ever stand by me. If you go, then nothing mm-hmm. is going to happen, no. But, but you are just dishonorable. Okay, Fair. so let me let me let me go in, because all I've been trying to say all day is that. I'm sorry, Shah, legally, I'm a good citizen, good upstanding citizen. Oh, good good very convenient. Well, At this point, not like... <laughs> 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 no, all of a sudden... I think I'd rather be a good upstanding citizen than be a good wife, but continue. All of a sudden, you are a good upstanding citizen. <laughs> yes. Please, dear, spare me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, all I've been trying to say all day is that um, I think man and woman being together, like a union, marriage, whatever, relationship, the most important thing is two people coming together to want to share 
their lives with each other. So there will be a lot of sacrifices. There will be a lot of, oh, um, you people meeting in the middle, like you compromise. Compromise. compromise it. Thank you very much. That's what I'm trying to look for. So basically when you're making your vows, especially when it comes to, especially when it comes to <laughs> marriage as it is, it's very important that both parties make sacrifices for each other. You're coming together to want to be together forever or not. So in the meantime, while you're trying to get to nature that dating and all of that, you already know this person's character, the behaviors, you know that, okay, can I deal with this for the rest of my life? Can I do this? Can I do that? If you can, that is when I think you progress to the stage of, oh, you're getting married to this person. Mm. And then you now make these vows. And then at that point, personally, I think it should be ride or die. Why can't it be ride or live? Why don't people have to die? I mean, no, but not literally die. But the idea, see, is the context. The idea is for you to want to be with somebody regardless yeah, of whatever as well, whatever yeah. comes. Do you understand? Okay, now, it's, it's, it's supposed to be like, a, you're supposed to be a team. Is it weird? I don't for me, that. I feel like if you're, when, if for somebody to have become your partner, you've gone through some sort of like dating hurdle. Yeah. At which point I am assuming that you've taken the time out to get to know somebody. Yeah. You can't know somebody completely, but you can have an idea of what their capabilities are. I've said this before. True. So if I've decided to enter into a relationship with you or a marriage with you, I still sort of have an idea of the sorts of things you can do. Like, are you the kind of guy that if your back was against a wall, you would probably do fraud? Like, are you the kind of guy who thinks he's entitled to women? Are you the kind of guy? Like, these traits, they always show themselves. The so, yeah. Also. So if I decide to marry you, I marry you knowing fully well that, okay, yes, maybe you might be capable of fraud. Maybe you tell a lie every now and again. I know what that is. So if I then marry you and I find out, ex example again, you're a serial rapist, but when I was dating you, you showed me no womanizing or entitlement tendencies. The contract within which I entered to you was was based on the wrong information. Based and so at that point- you. Marriage is not law. So you see, you see that- <laughs> No, it is. No, no, but no it's, it's a contract. contract. No, no, that no, the whole concept no, of, contra of marriage was created to legalize the, the no, union. No, your personality is not a contract. You're no, but I'm saying- jump No, it is. You talk about Kanye West. He's, no, but yeah, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Can I finish? Can I finish? Sure, sure. I'm going to The reason I'm saying this, I said contract is because your vows are, it's, it's, it's something you sign. No, it's, you it's, 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 no, 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 no. I said in order for me to get into a relationship with you and decide to enter a marriage, I must like your personality. Yeah, today I'm this and tomorrow I may be different. But what I'm saying is People the, evolve. The, the, yes. the basis of your character would be somewhat like who you are as a person, the principle of who you are. You are going to be who you are. Yeah, you are a man of, Jenny, your character is who you are. You are a man of, of certain standards. Okay, Kandasha should divorce Kanye West. He was not a Jesus man when she No, married. but that's something people, people again. He's not a Jesus a, man. And so is that a bad thing? Jenna, it's evolve, not, evolve. Not, his character has like, changed. Yes, but is it bad? Again, is it bad? Characters are going to change. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. So I'm we just can, going we can only exploit the character changes into a place where it affects marriage and affects whether you're going to ride or die. I'm with you, darling. You see, I I like to think that, you know, you know, it's it's true, you know, people's character can change based on, you know, the reason, the opinion and, you know, the response between the person. So if the intimacy is, you know, it calls for that and you appreciate the person that much, you might want to, you know, make those changes and sacrifice, you know, because sacrificing and compromise is what makes a relationship. So, so I'll put that according to what you're saying. So I feel like, you know, significantly we're saying the same thing. Okay, so, talk, yeah? okay sorry. So uh -huh. um, in my opinion, I would treat this differently from a, ma a marriage is different, a relationship is different. With this whole Kisha and whatever, um, Juguchi main thing, I would not have done it because, look, I'm only human, do you get me? You're in jail, you, now you go jail, now you they do drugs, now you fat, now you they follow woman. Those are things generally that- It's body shaming. It's not body shaming, it's not body shaming. It's not body shaming, he was unhealthy. He used to drink codeine. He was have got- The reason why I think body shame comes into it is because you want to cheat on me with all these baddies, yeah, with your fat stomach. I mean, if I now cheat on you, it's now- So my thing is, dealing with all those things for me, I'm not sure how capable I am as a human being to deal with that in a relationship. When I know, okay, we haven't made this commitment. When I know that things like kids haven't happened, in a marriage, family so haven't happened. Yeah, no, I'm even saying I like my level of tolerance marriage. in a marriage based off of, look, I've dated you, I've loved you enough to commit to you in a marriage. Mm -hmm. I will be able to tolerate certain things. Certain things being, okay, maybe you, for example, you go broke. We've had a good couple of years and mm. oh, 
market goes wrong, blah, blah. Obviously, I'm not going to say, oh, because it's rough now, I'm going to yeah. leave. Coco. If you, if you, <laughs> if you have, like Jaffa. I said again, um, a disease or something, you get an ailment, that's not on you. you. I would not be a good person. Well, if you decide you want okay. to follow a woman up and that, that one is on you. Yeah, so all those you. other things for me, things like cheating, <laughs> things like lying, What if it's the women that are coming up all of that. Can I talk about character change? Can I talk about character change quickly? Because that's something Lolo mentioned. And... Again, I just like to use myself because I'm the only person yes, that I actually. truly know. So, growing up, I know the different characters that I have assumed as a person. I know when I was a bit younger, there are certain things that I did not really care about or I didn't give a damn. For example, the feelings of everybody else. I didn't care. Sure you you know? Now, I'm a bit older. This is character change, growth. You know, I may care more about how Lolo or Adam may feel about a certain situation. So I may not say one or two certain things sure? because calm down. <laughs> if I am insulting to you, it's only because of your behavior. You understand? You brought this shit on yourself. Can I say something just for you to use in what you're saying? Yeah. It does, do you think it comes from maturity? Like you've grown. No, Maybe that's why people don't enter was, relationships I, and marriages. I was going to mention that too. But when, when, what I'm trying to say is that when you're character. 40, when you're 40, you are grown. If the change is positive. But you could be different. If the growth is positive. Yeah. You cannot tell me because what you're trying to say is that, oh, I met this guy at this time. And he was this way, and then he later became this guy. Based and I did not like that. Yeah, yeah, but you know, I say, say, say one thing. All I want to end on is that change is law. You are not the man you marry today may not necessarily be the man. But a fundamental character change, I shouldn't have to stay with somebody who fundamentally changed. Don't say, say, no, no. say for so better or not, not change. Not change. Strong woman builds a man. You guys, you man you guys are forgetting like, that it's not just you know? a bad behavior, like bad situations, yeah. right? Or like personal decisions that make people like change. At the end of the day, let me give you an example. So you're with this guy, everything is wonderful and great. I'm so, so sorry, sugar daddy. Everything is great and wonderful. You and then he has an accident. Legs, like, and then he has an accident, right? And he loses his legs. <laughs> he probably still has money, everything is still great. But his behavior has changed. He's frustrated. Do you he's angry. He, exactly, he so sees many you as competition. Do you understand what I'm saying? He didn't exhibit any of these traits when you guys were dating. What are you going to do? So you're going to stay no, and say, oh, no, see, let me say, what? Let me tell you, I've said this thing on the show Come every on. single episode, communication and understanding. If I know that the man I love you, is treating no. me differently because he's going through something, he is frustrated. If I lose two of my legs, do you know what, what do you know the person? I will be a shell you're of myself. So yes. I will raise my man the fuck up. Personally, I believe in ride or die because i mean if you're not going to have my back to the end then i personally don't see the point but then at the, i i i in as much as that is important you should also learn to put yourself first without being selfish so is is a question of trying to be selfless and being selfish at the same time i don't know if you get the point i'm trying to make but just be reasonable i think everybody should put themselves first the government ain't looking out for you our parents are hardly looking out for us you have only yourself okay don't come and be picking somebody else's riding and their stupid rickety vehicle over your own personal development and your happiness secondly people grow at different paces people have different phases in life before they finally get to the self that they're supposed to be, their best possible self. You don't have to be with them on that journey to prove that you're a loyal person. For me, I feel like picking, I feel like this whole ride or die thing, just know who you're riding with first before you decide, before you start deciding if you want to be a ride or die or not. Because if you enjoy the person, if you trust the person, if you if you believe that their values and morals are aligned with your own, you don't really have to think about the worst case scenario too often because your sentiments are sort of similar. It's only when there's someone that you don't know, you don't know what they're capable of, you don't know what they're about, that you start worrying about, okay, should I, should I not? So before you decide any of that, just make sure that you're, you're riding with the right person and you're riding with somebody that you trust and that makes you feel secure and makes you feel good. Because if you have to, if you have to belittle yourself or make yourself feel shit just to make someone else happy or make your relationship, like, keep the peace, get out the car.